It is the 14th of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net tonight. Earthquake magnitude 6.1 off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. And that's pretty much the same location that the big 9.0 happened last year. Earthquake shakes Tokyo region hours after northern Japanese tremor causes small tsunami. A series of earthquakes rattled Tokyo and northeastern Japan on Wednesday evening but caused no apparent damage or injury in the same region hit last year's devastating tsunami, of course. Uh, we had a magnitude 6.8 earthquake first struck off the southern coast of uh, Hokkaido Island in the evening causing a small tsunami. Uh, they did put up advisories along the Pacific Coast, propping some communities to advise residents to evacuate coastal homes. Of course, if you're living right on the beach, there is a danger. Um, yeah, and the big quake, magnitude 6.9, I think it's been readjusted to 6.8, though. Scenic Greek Island shows signs of volcanic unrest. Here we go again. The volcanic caldera on the picturesque tourist island of Santorini is showing signs of unrest, but research de um, detecting the caldera's movements say it doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent. Now, this island was the site of the most massive volcanic eruptions in history 3,600 years ago. That eruption, which created tsunamis 40 feet or 12 meters high, have sp uh, spawned the legendary lost city of Atlantis. Uh, this volcano last erupted in 1950, albeit it was a much smaller scale. And they've got a the giant underestimated earthquake threat to North America story. Uh, that's Pacific Northwest, and they're giving examples of uh, the land has shifted many, many times before. NASA sees double tropical trouble in northern Australia. Uh, we have the cyclone Lau um, and another... Big low front coming off on top. Uh, Weather or not's been covering this pretty extensively. It is his home turf. Japan's Sacagawea volcano experiences its most violent eruption in three years. Uh, this volcano is definitely beyond the percolator uh, as of late for sure. Here's a story I wanted to break interest on. Nitrogen contamination found in California water. Now check it out. One in ten people living in a productive agriculture area in Central California at risk of nitrate concentration in their drinking water, according to a new report. The report details the levels of source of nitrate contamination in the Tulare Lake Basin, which includes Fresno and Bakerfields, and the uh, Salinas Valley. Now, nitrogen, inorganic, and synthetic fertilizers have dramatically increased crop production in California in the recent decades. However, check it out, excess nitrate in groundwater has been linked to thyroid illness, reproductive problems, and some cancers. The contamination seen now is likely being accumulating for decades and can pose a risk for years to come, the report said. And I think uh, nobody's talking about the nuclear fallout that's hit California, and all of a sudden they got something to blame the, the thyroid problems on. It's not the radiation, it's the water. And of course, the big rain that happened in Louisiana. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, Montserrat Sulfur Hills unleashes small pyroclastic flow. And uh, this volcano saying um, it, it, it went off without any warnings at all. Uh, wasn't a very major one, just going to show that um, a lot of these mountains are gearing up all over the world. And of course they have the Japanese earthquake stories. Costa Rica, poise volcano, continues to simmer. Uh, during February, uh, activity consisted in strong high temperatures, formolic activity, and, and uh, sporadic small uh, pyroclastic explosions reported by park rangers. And uh, this definitely gearing up. Their lake temperatures were measured up at 44 degrees centigrade. Uh, definitely letting them know that there's some major activity going on underneath this volcano. Cities on alert as smoke and ash rise from Colombia's Navado del Ruz volcano. Now, this is one I've been warning you about since I've come back. Uh, rising smoke flumes from 
Colombian volcano put nearby cities and towns on alert as it continued to emit smoke, vapor, ash on Monday. And this is the place where they're having the, the evacuation drills every 15 days because they're pretty much sure that, that this one's going to go off. And uh, the last time it, it exploded massively, it killed like 25,000 people. And they've got the Greek story on the, their volcano. History's most dreaded volcano awakens and is rapidly inflating, warns geologists. And that's that volcano in Greece. Or on that Greek island. Uh, Delhi's getting more tremors, rattled by fifth tremor in 2012. Uh, looks like 3549. But uh, another inact or active area. Here comes the sun, another solar flare, and comet dives into solar radiation storm. They're calling that uh, the comet the, the sun of love joy. Uh, just kind of happened to show up right as a CME dispersed. And uh, we definitely got another one inbound. I believe an M6. And the economy stuff, uh, that's about all new they have today. Over to the watchers, I want to cover some stories. Extreme south of Chile on red alert due to flash floods. Sunday rains and flash floods in Punta Arenas, extreme south of Chile, have left an estimated 800 people homeless, forcing the city to close schools, while the local chapter of the National Emergency Office raised the alarm level from orange moderate to red maximum. Uh, they got a river which crosses the city, bursts, bursts out of its course, flooding businesses, several schools, and the main square of the city. And uh, that continues. And they've got the swarm of earthquakes happening off the east coast of Japan. I'm watching that closely. Amazing March auroras around polar circles. And this just goes to show all the, the solar activity we've had with our weakened magnetic sphere. Uh, pretty, pretty lights in the northern skies and southern. This is one where they call Lovejoy's brother. Bright comet dives into radiation storm. And uh, comet kind of flew right into a, a CME. And that's about all new they have tonight. I'm going to go ahead and take you over to uh, E&E &E News, the nuclear stuff. Uh, ten quakes in Chiba during the last 90 minutes. Most recent M point, uh, magnitude 4.5, intensity 3. Happening now, intense magnitude 6.1 in Chiba with multiple aftershocks. Fukushima hit with a magnitude 4.6. Began with a 6.8 off the northeast Japan four hours ago. And if you watch these uh, earthquakes happen, uh, that whole landmass is settling. And uh, nuclear reactors abound. Oh, here's a story. Alpha radiation detected 50 kilometers south of Fukushima in, in Awaki. Awaki City, I-W-A-K-I, up to a thousand times more dangerous than beta or gamma equivalent. There are no sparrows, says Birdwatcher. In uh, Nagoya, downtown area was void of any form of birds. Now, if that isn't a canary in the coal mine, that should tell these people to get the heck out of there. Uh, KPBS, concerns over Reports of high radiation levels near California nuclear plant, results shared with many residents via the internet, but the Homeland Security professor believes readings weren't correct. Study claims Tokyo newborns had safe 1,140 microsieverts thyroid dose, that's safe, only counted food and water, did not include inhaled radioactivity, did not include the first 10 days when iodine and other short-lived isotopes peaked. These numbers are cooked and crocked, and they're going to blame everybody but the almighty nuclear industry. Uh, another story, multiple hospitals refused to treat men who evacuated elderly from highly radioactive area. Physical condition gradually deteriorated, maxed out radiation detector. Uh, they didn't want him in their hospital. Chernobyl expert, Fukushima's final toll will be worse. Multiple facilities, longer duration, population far more dense than they had. And they are still, everybody's running around with thyroid cancer there. Uh, and 
and that's about all new they have tonight. Of course, uh, we all might want to pay attention to Japan. Uh, the earthquake swarms are going crazy once again, and uh, this is the kind of thing that happened right before the big 9.0. Not to set any alarm bells or anything, but we definitely need to pay attention to what's going on. That's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.